Hey y'all, so this will be a quick little tutorial showing you how to use the airbrush plate from ArkishaLewisGraphics.com. We're going to do this in Pixlr again. If this is your first time watching, Pixlr is free. You can use it on your uh, right in your browser. No need to log in or sign up. Just visit Pixlr.com and start using it. You cannot use this on your phone. Click the first one and click create new make sure it's on full HD just down here is the create button you can name it here whatever you want to name it then click create Foul. Open image. You want to go find where your image is and open it up. To grab your image, you may run into this box here, and that is because my um, images are huge for image quality. So you can choose to do full HD or original, whichever works for you. Because if you, if this is too big in your computer or laptop is low on space you might not be able to do with this size so okay have your image and so you're going to add a name that layer is locked we want to come over here and click the plus sign click empty to add an empty layer and on that empty layer we're going to add a text box or a text layer click add Type what you want to type now um you can use what font whatever font you have on your computer i have videos up showing how to do that to make this video short i will not go into how to add your own fonts here this um pixlr has their own fonts but if you don't like any of those just um please go and look at either my videos or videos on youtube how to add your own font to pixlr so you can size it up here, size the name up here to your liking. We're going to size it pretty big. I've already had my font. This font is not with um, this program. I already had it in here. So you can leave it like that. And if, you're, if you do Photoshop, then you know you can um, shape the text to fit in this curve if you want to. Um, in here let me pause let me see if, if that's in here as well let me look first before I do that um, you get the name spelled how you want it and then you you want to layer and you want to raster this layer that way it makes it into like an image file instead of a text file so now it's rastered now let me go look and see if I can curve this text in here Okay, so it does have a feature where you can curve the text or do a few things to the text. So step back if you want to try this. Undo the raster file where you raster the layer. Undo the raster layer and then click here. Click your text box if you don't see your stuff at the top here. Click the, up there and then click style. And then your styles um, panel, you can click curve and then you can alter this the way you like it will not be a perfect curve but you can make it to what you want so let's see how this looks and we can take and we can grab this here and turn it a little so if that's cool with you select layer um, not select but layer and then raster that layer so now you can cancel get off of that text layer make sure you click your um, arrange arrow so you can get off of that text layer and just drag the name how you want it to fit there then you're going to make a duplicate of that layer 
duplicate that layer then you're going to click on the one behind it so click on that layer there I don't think we have anything on this layer so we could delete it so click on your second layer and let's go to filter and let's go to details and let's blur so let's drag that out drag it to you'll you'll see the effects over along the edges of the letter so apply that if you want to um, have it show up a little darker than what it's showing then you can layer and you can duplicate that again if that is too much for you you can click these three dots over here and you can tone back the transparency to your liking now you can leave it like that and begin to add add your stars if you like so I was saying you can add stars if you like but let's try something real quick while I'm here I just thought of something let's try let's cut all our um, cut all of our blur layers off let's click on the main layer on um, text and let's uh, duplicate that layer let me pull it to the back and then let's add a stroke and I'm gonna add the stroke in what did that do mm -mm. cancel that I don't know what that did let me um, delete that and let's go back on there layer duplicate let me just go ahead and fill it with a color so I don't know if it's tripping or not and it is cancel so delete that so let's let me try to copy it this way I don't know why it's doing that edit copy edit paste is it on the it says image image layer raster layer so is it not rastered please foot image layer duplicate um, edit feel yeah I don't know why it's doing that let me just do that anyway let me some little glitch somewhere so let me fill this I'm just going to try something um, apply oh I guess it's got a I don't know why it's doing that okay I'll do that another time I'll do the try another time so back to what we were saying let's turn our um, blur layer, level layers back on my bad y'all so now you can add your stars if you would like so with that being said let's click over here on the plus sign and click empty on the empty layer you want to select your paintbrush over here come up to the top to the um, built-in stars click click one and you'll see what they look like here and then increase your size here click over in the document and just click somewhere if you click once you get a light star if you control Z if you click twice in the same place double click you get a darker star now in here let's see if it does like Photoshop if you hold the alternate button and drag you can drag drag out another star and you can resize it and put it where you want you can drag as many as you want alter you hold the alt button ALT button and hold that down and just drag with your mouse click and drag alt button click drag alt button click drag Alt button click drag now if you're happy with that then you click file save and you save it as a PNG
Save it as a PNG to your desktop and you hit download so it can go to your desktop. You can also save it as the file save. You can save it as PXZ, that is a pixel file, pixeler file, so you can come back in and do some extra work if you need to. And these stars, you can put as much detail, you can add more detail to the text if you want the text to look like it is. Let's close this. Close, hit the um, subtraction key, and that will close down your history. Click on your main layer of text if you want that to have some extra effects to it go to the effects library filter effects library details and no not details um bevel go to bevel and you can pretty much try different stuff here change the sizing uh, the depth colors you can do whatever you want to here to get this to look how you need it to look so if you want that to be like that then now why did that do that you see that i don't know why i did that might be glitchy because it's big i forgot i told you all that too it could be glitchy because it's big so either way, you can put a bevel effect on it or whatever you need to do. Okay, so I saved it and opened it as a PNG. Open it back in here as a PNG to explain to you why. This is good for a sublimation. You can put this on an earring. You can put this on, long as you are, long as you have a background that this whole image will fit into, you can use it for print then cut but just as this image here you cannot use it as print then cut and let me show you why so it is a png file right here but if you try look here and try to add a stroke to it you see what it does and that's because all the edges are soft there is really no edge so it's there isn't anything to cut so it will cut wherever it sees the last pixel so even though you can't see it, the computer knows there's pixels out here. Fine, fine pixels. So that is why it is it will not be good for a um, P, um, print then cut file. Now, if you're going to use it for an earring file or anything else you want to put it on, you can use um, this. You could do um, water decal, sublimation, different little stuff. But if you want to do actual prints, print and cut stuff, it has to go on to something else. And it has to fit in it and not have any edges outside, any small pixels outside. So let's cut that off. And I'm just going to um, grab the marquee and select the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to brush that in real quick. And then I'm just going to fill it. See, we're doing a lot of extra stuff. Fill it with a color. Uh, it's not so cultural. Deselect. why it's tripping now probably because that image is still open so now and control and d for deselect now let's turn let's turn this no let's do another color because the image is that color edit feel apply so now cut this back on and let's size it let's say you wanted it here and you wanted it up to the edge like that okay there's pixels out here so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to click this circle and then you're gonna have to come up to select select pixels select invert selection click on the image and hit delete 
delete so it can delete those outside pixels and then save as a PNG file I hope this helps save it as a PNG